Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, January 22nd, I think. <laughs> I never can remember days. Anyways, it's countdown to baby. A few more days. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on here because I finished another pattern from my stash of patterns that is ever growing and I'll never ever be able to make all of them. But I know I'm not alone in that. I know that there's so many other people out there who just have a ton of them. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> but I've been slowly going through them and really trying to pick out stuff that I really want to make, you know, that I've had um, in my library, either physically in like a book form or like a printed out for form or on my computer <laughs> digitally because I have so many patterns. But I found a little hat that I've had it for a little while. Um, and since I'm having a baby girl soon, super soon, I wanted to make it and I made it in Valentine's Day colors because it's almost Valentine's Day. And plus I had a scrap ball. <laughs> but anyways, so it is called the Poppin' Bonnet Crochet Pattern by Crazy for Crochet Mama. This is a paid for pattern, but I remember getting it for free. Um, I used a coupon code because a lot of designers uh, give out coupon codes for like holidays or like if it's their birthday or something like that, you know. Or when they put out a brand new pattern, they give out like a certain number of um, coupon codes. Actually, I'm in a Facebook group for Ravelry uh, free patterns. I'll try to remember to link that below if you want to check it out. Um, people share free patterns from Ravelry on there. And then designers, if they're giving away patterns, they'll share it on there too with the coupon code. So you can go snatch up paid for patterns for free. Anyways, this is the hat. <laughs> it is a cute little bonnet with like uh, bobble stitches. And I've had this for a while. Even I'm pretty sure I've had it since before I was even pregnant with... June. <laughs> I think I just had it. Uh, I remember looking, I looked at it yesterday and it was, it was published in 2018. So I think I just got it. I had a coupon code for her, the, the designer's patterns. And this is the one I picked out apparently, <laughs> but it was in my baby hat category on my computer. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. So I wanted to make it. And it comes in um, sizes newborn, zero to six, six to 12 and 12 to 24. So I'll link the pattern for this below, but it is pay for pattern. Unless the designer just happens to have a coupon going out right now. But I'll link all that below. And also I'll link that Facebook group below. So here's the one that I made. I made this yesterday. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> yes, this is the same yarn I've been using. I made um, an Amigurumi baby doll out of it. And then I made my phone stand, which I finished. But I'll show that to you guys on Tuesday. Um, and then I made this. And I still have a scrap ball. That's probably half of a skein. Because at one point I had three skeins of this. And I've slowly worked my way through it. to now I just have like maybe half a skein left. That I'll probably put in my multi multicolor scrap bucket because that's I can pull it out to make like amigurumis with. But it's so cute. This is actually two scrap balls put together. Um, this back and like the first bubble row was one scrap ball and then I attached the other one. But it's such a sweet little hat. This is the newborn size and I used a G hook I believe. Yeah, you do the G hook for the newborn size and an H hook for the other sizes. And it's so cute. It's got these little ties. I thought this would be so cute for her pictures for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'll get her, you know, pick out some cute little pink outfit <laughs> uh, to put with it. Try to find a Valentine's Day one. Um, that's so cute. It kind of pulled. I noticed this yarn pulls each time. This yarn, by the way, is Mainstay's um, Pink Multi from Walmart. It's a Walmart brand. It's a worsted number four. But I think it's so cute. You start with the back and you work your way up. You, you go in a circle and then at one point you stop going in a circle and you just turn to make the, you know, the neck hole for the little, I don't have a baby doll to put this on. <laughs> and then it'll tie. It'll be so cute for pictures. <laughs> I can't wait to, uh, to use it. I absolutely love this yarn. I could totally hoard this up because pink is my favorite color and it's got different shades of pink. And it's very Valentine's-y and just cute. So, uh, my Walmart doesn't actually carry this color. I've, it's got a few of the multicolor mainstays, but not this pink one. And I'm pretty sure all, all the balls of this I have or had <laughs> was gifted to me by Lama Mama Kayla in like 2019 um when she did it she hosted a Valentine's Day swap and she was the person who got my name so she sent me a Valentine's Day box and I'm pretty sure that's what where this yarn came from I think <laughs> but it, isn't it cute and I have some of this yarn here too this is the Red Heart um retro straps I thought about making it out of that but I was wanting to try to use up the rest of this pink yarn <laughs> because I'm trying to go through some of my stash now and um, collect ball bands because <laughs> I want to share my number of ball bands. I actually have a pretty good amount for um, January. I'm proud of myself. February will pro probably be less because I'll be adjusting to life with an almost six-year-old and a newborn. 
but we'll see. <laughs> and I'm breathing heavy because I'm super pregnant, but that's just life. I think this is so cute. So I'll link it below, but it is a paid for pattern, but I did get it for free. So yeah, but it's by Crochet for, or Crazy for Crochet Mama. So I'll link, I don't know if she has an actual website. I, I know I got this off of Ravelry, so I'll, re, I'll link the Ravelry link and I'll, if she has a website, I'll link that. And I'll also link that Ravelry group where you can get free patterns from Ravelry. And a lot of times designers share their paid for patterns on there with a coupon code. That's where I get a lot of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's my third stitch library. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I did three in January. <laughs> but, um, uh, oh Lord, to go through my whole stash of, of patterns, I'd have to do like three a day for the rest of my life. <laughs> so uh, I'll never catch up, but I, I, it's fun to look at things that you downloaded in the past that you wanted to make and then actually make it. So it's fun to actually do that. I, I get easily distracted by new patterns, <laughs> just like I think most of us do, but it's fun to go back and find, oh yeah, I remember loving that pattern. Let's make it. And it's just doing it. I made this yesterday while watching, um, See No Evil on Discovery Plus. <laughs> it's a, cr a true crime show where they solve murders and kidnappings and stuff with, um, security footage from like stores and stuff. So I was making this while doing, while uh, watching that. And it's a pretty quick pattern. Um, I was a little distracted watching that show, so it took me like an episode and a half to make it. <laughs> if I was have had a well, little, if I'd been paying more attention to what I was doing, I probably could have finished this in like an episode. But I got you know drawn into the show. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I did. I'm pretty proud of myself. So now yeah, chatty bit because I always have to chat. My scrap blanket's hanging out back here. I've been using it a lot, <laughs> laying on the couch, relaxing, and I just cover up with it. It's, I washed it so it's nice and like soft and drapey now. I love how Red Heart does that. You know, it's kind of stiff and rough when you're making. But then when you wash it, it gets so, like, look how drapey it is. <laughs> it's so pretty. And uh, now I'm sitting here working on my scarf. This is the only active whip I have going right now. My um, sand drift scarf. I'm trying to get it done before I go into labor <laughs> next week. So I'm hoping to get it done. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long I need to make it, though. Because, you know, scarves depend on people's hats. So I need to find like an average hot because I'll probably be donating this because it's got wool in it and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm allergic to wool, but I'm like sensitive to wool. Definitely allergic to pack, alpaca because of the way it affects me, but wool just kind of agitates my skin. But, um, yeah, I got to figure out how long to make that. <laughs> but I'm just sitting here. I'm watching YouTube videos actually, and I wanted to film this real quick so that I can get it edited and up because we got some errands to run today. Today's Saturday. Did I say that? <laughs> we got to find a rocket chair today because... We procrastinated it, and uh, she's going to be born probably Wednesday, the 26th, depending on, you know, how fast my body kicks into labor once they induce me. She could be born on the 25th, I guess, because they're, they're starting induction at 8 p.m., so that's like four hours window that she could make an appearance. And it'd be cool, kind of, because it'd be a month after Christmas, but I don't care what day she's born on as long as she's healthy and I'm, I'm all okay, <laughs> except I really hope to avoid the 27th, just because that's the day my dad died, January 27th, 2013, and I just, I don't want, <laughs> I know a lot of people said that would make like a positive thing out of it, but I still would, I would just prefer those days not to be connected to each other, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I can't really help that if she comes that day, she comes that day, but anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited, and I'm gonna sit here and work on this scarf, because I really want to get it done before Tuesday, and I am going to record a video Tuesday morning, a No Kitchen Am episode, because we don't have to leave for the hospital until that afternoon. And um, so we'll be home most of the day anyways. Um, so that'll be the last yarny re related video until sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I'll be able to crochet with her, because I, I know I did a lot with Jessie. Anyways, we'll see. <laughs> but, oh, and also a fun thing's happening next Friday for Jesse's school. It's his 100th day of kindergarten. So we get to dress him up as a little old man. <laughs> so that's one thing we gotta do today too. We're gonna go to the thrift store and try to find like a, a button-up shirt or maybe like a, like an Argyle sweater or something. I don't know, something like a sweater vest. Something to make him look like an old man. And then I'm gonna get some sunglasses and poke out the lenses. And I'm gonna glue like, um cotton or something on top of them look like big bushy eyebrows and then um we can do a little mustache uh drawn on his face is what the school said it's, they sent a note you know <laughs> home and um try to find him some kind of like old man looking hat like a fedora or something one of those flat hats those like newsboy hats <laughs> and i know i could crochet something but um 
I, I don't really want to have to get something done before then. He might be at my mom's still because she's going to be watching him Tuesday until we come home from the hospital. I'm hoping we get to come home Thursday, but, you know, it really depends on when she comes and how fast her and I recover from the birth and make it, you know, if she's not um, really bad jaundice. Jesse was really jaundiced when he was born. He had to be under the, the lamp for like three days, and plus he was having to be treated with antibiotics. So, um, you know, all that stuff. So if he's at my mom's, I just want to make it, get it all together for her so that she can get him dressed that morning and take a million pictures and send him to school as old man. <laughs> the little girl costumes would be so much more fun to make, I think, because you could do those, the crochet hat with the hair curlers and a little sweater and like pearl necklaces and little glasses with those chain things, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that with June in a bunch of years. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. By the time June starts kindergarten, Jesse will be starting middle school that same year. What? <laughs> so I'm going to have a middle schooler and a kindergartner the same year. It's going to be hectic and crazy and I'm going to be stressed out probably, <laughs> but I got plenty of time to worry about that. So I'm chatting now because I always do, but I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to work on this scarf and try to get it done. I might start, you know, like little projects. I might do try to do these over the next few days because I'll just be bored sitting doing nothing. Um, but I'm not going to start anything big until after she's born and I get like accustomed to having a baby again. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to start something big like another blanket and it just sit there forever, you know. So I'll just focus on little things. Maybe start making some little tiny amigurumis because I got a ton of stuff in, and a ton of scrap balls that are multicolor. So I can make like little octopuses and jellyfish and things like that. And um, little baby hats. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm chatting now. So I will see you guys in... Um, Let's see here. Tomorrow's Sunday. I can't think. Of, I don't think I have any video planned for tomorrow. I know for sure the next video, crochet ro crochet related, will be Tuesday. We then I'll catch name episode, and then maybe a vlog here or there, <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys some next week. I don't know. It just depends on how the hospital stay goes. But I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Oh, and the other people who do Stitch Library, I'll link them below. I know it's Terry from our Yarn Joy podcast. Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet, Rebecca from uh, Yarn and Pajamas, and I can't remember her the the podcaster's name, but I think it's called Hook Nook or Yarn Nook. She's I know she's been posting a few. Hers are super sh short videos, and I don't think she talks in them. I think she just like shows what she's doing. If I can remember the right name <laughs> i will link that one below too I'm trying to think of anyone else i'll just look around I'll, maybe i can just um youtube search it <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go now get this edited and set in here and finish the scarf because that's my goal for the next few days is to finish this scarf up so that um i don't have any bigger projects going uh, this week anyways <laughs> i'll talk to you guys in another video bye guys mm -hmm.